Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's slow progress, but still progress on Project Prelude here. And lately I've been working on just a few small things. I've got a new, uh, well not new, but used rear bumper as well as trunk lid that I'm going to put on here. I think it's in a lot better shape than the stuff that's already there. So let's get that started. Here's the trunk lid and the bumper that I picked up. And so this bumper is still imperfect. It's got some scuffs on it, but not nearly as much chipping, peeling paint as the one that I have. And you can see it also has the OEM lettering that says Prelude on it, which is pretty sweet. And the trunk lid has the spoiler, third brake light, brand new Honda badge, as well as the VTEC sticker still intact. So I think these will make a great addition to what I have on the car currently which you can see is very paint damaged. All I did was spray it with the hose and all this stuff came off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the other one on. I'm gonna swap the uh, lock so that the key I have still works and figure out the wiring for the brake light, which I don't think is gonna be too bad because they were all wired the same. And if you didn't notice, I've got all four wheels off and I had the tires dismounted, so there those are. Not sure if I'm gonna get them powder coated or if I'm just gonna figure out a way to paint them might just paint them or put one of those peelable coatings on it. That way, whoever gets it next might be able to change the color. I think black will look good for now. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, so since the wheels definitely need to be painted, this is what they look like with all the brake dust. This is what they look like after some paint prep. I've got it all sanded and cleaned with uh, some goof off definitely gonna do the same to this one and then the other two wheels aren't as bad so probably won't have to put as much elbow grease into those these are the worst for wear ones i can't wait to show you what the paint color is guys so I got the trunk lid and the rear bumper off the rear bumper came off a little bit harder than expected it looks like this car has been repainted before actually and I found that it was literally screwed in from the outside and then bondoed and painted over and so you can see that right here in the bumper anyway I got the new bumper over here. I'm getting ready to put it on. So let's get it at least put up in position. I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the junkyard and get new clip. And some of these, you can see this one, it's got a screw coming through. Something holding the tail light down. Not sure what's going on there, but I'm gonna check that out. Let's get this other uh, rear bumper and trunk lid bolted down. And today I am still working on this project prelude. We got some progress going on. I got some new tires on the wheels. I got some more sanding progress on the wheels themselves. I've got the Plasti Dip paint kit ready to go. So all we gotta do is get these wheels mounted on the car. The progress will be very apparent. I'm super excited about it. I hope you are too. Stay tuned. little bit of info this is what we got to do I've got two new wheel studs here and they've got to get installed as you can see here and here so I'm working on that don't mind this project out here I decided to clean that up got some tires put on the back so that's coming soon back to this wheel stud you can see in the brake shield here I cut a little slot on the stud itself. I just kind of shaved it a hair. No big deal. And we're gonna slide that bad boy into place like so. Hey 
This thing works smart and not hard, so after getting it a good amount started, I'm gonna draw it in the rest of the way with this lug nut. As you know, I was missing two wheel studs. These are the two new ones, one and two. I really tried my best. I went and bought tools and everything to get this nut off. Uh, I'm glad I didn't actually because I talked with one of my friends who's a Honda tech and he said once you take that off this whole thing gets pulled out and it becomes a real pain in the butt to get it all that put back together so he actually recommended that if all I needed was studs to come up with a new plan and this was my plan here I took this backing plate cut it out here with the multi-tool and I also used the grinder to shave off the new wheel studs just part of it as you can see earlier Boom, I got them in. So all we gotta do is put the brake rotor back on, put the caliper back on, make sure it's all set nice, and then we get the wheel back on. So let's get right to it. window I don't have the new one yet so the main idea is that we figure out how to get this one out so first step would be to get rid of all this duct tape that's been on the outside keeping all the rain out Let's see how this goes well, that was easy I can't believe this was keeping as much water out as it actually did maybe I just put that back on later <laughs> Well, obviously I'm not going to get the experience that I wanted of having to remove this properly. Like I'm going to have to do the new one at the junkyard. That came off extremely easy, which is both good and bad. It looks like somebody's got some Gorilla Glue in here. That wasn't the right way to do this. We're going to have to clean this up a ton and do this the right way. What's up guys i'm out here at the junkyard you can see here's that prelude i was out here before as you know but now it is just completely on its side i mean at least the window i need to get at is over there which is perfect it looks like you know someone has come and had their share with this thing now it's my turn again and so a few things will be easier to get at and i'm really excited about that so let's see what we can get done yeah all right so first things first Holy cow, this thing has just been gutted. That is awesome. Love it when people are getting the parts that they need. This is how junkyards are supposed to work. Anyway, we need this quarter window. I'm not entirely sure how to pull these or what the proper method might be, but we're gonna give it a shot. I might even venture to see if I can put this thing down on the ground. We'll see. Well, not everything can go as you plan. I thought for sure I had a good plan to get this window out and it's shattered. Dang it. Have to try again on another one. Or I might just order one that's already pulled. That could be easier. We'll see. So that's a positive note. Let's keep it moving. Guys, nice day here. And like I said, we're obviously not going to be able to replace the window since I messed up at the junkyard yesterday. But on the positive side, we did get a good condition side skirt here. The main reason I picked this one up is because all of the mounting tabs are in great shape this thing is nice and straight the one that came on the car these mounting tabs are all mangled they're kind of disproportionated from where they should be obviously you know this just isn't really working as good as it could so get rid of that one got some new clips here in order to hold this guy on and while i was at the junkyard i was able to see the orientation of the clips 
so I know exactly how they go. Click, got the rest put in. Everything looks pretty good. Let's get this side skirt put on. All right, guys, so check it out. I was actually able to finally source a rear quarter window on the driver's side for the Prelude, and there it is. It's not installed fully yet. I've got it sitting in place. I just kind of taped it here for now. It's way better than all the duct tape that was on there, but I'm really excited about getting this thing installed. I went to the auto parts store, and the 3M window weld is $30 for the tube. I got the window for about that. I don't know if I can justify spending $30 on a tube of silicone adhesive. I'm, I'm gonna try something else. Uh, maybe even just the black a gasket maker that they sell at the auto parts store, something like that. Super excited about making more progress on the car here. I don't know if I, I show you, but I got the front bumper off. I'm gonna sand down the front bumper, make it nice and paint these inserts and then i got fog lights for it and then new headlights as well so i want to get that whole front end done and i might have found a hood it's waiting on the guy to reply to me oh, you can really see the color difference of that bumper and trunk lid compared to the rest of the car i can't tell which one was repainted or what i've been spending a lot of time recently just organizing the garage it up to a nice jack stand collection that's for sure but now they're not getting used because everything got put on wheels so that's cool you guys haven't seen this yet. So there is an SR20 under here. I got bottom mount manifold on it right now, but I think I just want to go top mount with this right off the get. Since I don't have a turbo, I sold the one I had. It was a 2871R, sold that deal to pay some bills a few years back. I got to get another one, I need a turbo. So I want a top mount one. You can see the wife is making her own project. I gotta cut out these letters out of that material there on the window. So that'll be next. And over here, it's just some random fifth gen Prelude parts, ones that were still good. I got side skirt clips, a couple of tweeters that are wired for factory harness, mm, factory tweeter that is not wired for harness. And uh, this mirror is in great shape. So I know somebody's gonna want this stuff. Just wanna get it posted up for sale, take a good picture. And I do want to mention, guys, for those of you who are generous enough to donate to the Patreon account or, you know, buy from the merch website, I just want to say thank you so much to all my uh, subscribers and supporters. All the funds that you guys donate to my Patreon account and things like that go straight into making more awesome content for you guys with cool projects. And you know, I got this one over here, the 240. This thing needs some love and I can't wait to get to it. Gotta get this prelude done first, but anything you guys get from the merch website, all that is just going into this because this is what I'm all about. I wanna put everything into making these videos and creating some content and doing these projects and helping you guys learn and and you guys help me learn too that would be awesome so uh, with that being said make sure you hit that like and subscribe and put the post notifications on so you don't miss out on anything and I'll catch you next time peace